Good day friends, I am Dr. Sanjay Kalra, an endocrinologist from India. Like all of us, I remain busy to seeing patients. I see patients with diabetes, with endocrine disease, with metabolic disease. And many of them come with neuropathy, nerve disease, and sometimes with the complications of neuropathy, like foot ulcer. I feel sad because if we had been able to detect neuropathy earlier, if we'd been able to intervene earlier, we would be able to prevent all these complications. And all we have to do is to optimize our nutrition to add a few neurotropic vitamins, maybe vitamin B, B16, B12, in some cases vitamin D or even vitamin E and carnitine. The limiting factor therefore in ensuring nerve health for our patients becomes screening and detection of neuropathy. It's not that we don't try. We have questionnaires. Some questions are based on symptoms, others on signs, and yet others on a combination. The Michigan questionnaire, the Toronto questionnaire, the Leeds questionnaire, all these are a combination of symptoms and signs which help us detect neuropathy earlier. To make this more objective, we have other tests. The 10 gram monofilament test, the Ipswich touch test, and vibration and thermal perception thresholds. All these also help us in detecting neuropathy in a timely manner. But we still miss out on many patients. The reason is that all these questionnaires and tests will be able to detect only clinical neuropathy. What we should be able to do is to detect subclinical neuropathy or neuropathy before the damage has begun. There are advances now, luckily, which can help us do that. If we wish to detect large function, large fiber dysfunction, if we wish to detect a dysfunction in the large fiber uh, nerves, then we have tests such as NCV, nerve conduction velocity, and DPN check device. For autonomic neuropathy, we can do tests like Pseudoscan, Neuropad, and QSART, QSART. Pseudoscan works on the principle of reverse iontophoresis, while Neuropad works on a calorimetric method. When cobalt is exposed to sweat, the color of cobalt salt changes from blue to pink. Keosart is a quantitative way of measuring the pseudomotor axon reflex.